Yeah, yeah. What up? Welcome back, everybody. My name is Believe I Need. Thank you for watching the channel. And in this video, we're playing Red Dead Online, and I'm gonna attempt to get to this penitentiary area. You know, your ass done attempted to get to the penitentiary area, but you was like, oh, maybe I don't have the time today, or maybe I'm just like, uh, well, today I'm gonna do it. Oh, wait. Intro. This is my intro. This is my intro song. Anyway, <laughs> yo. Um, so, first and foremost, I finally got rank 83, and I have this choice between two of these trapper saddles. And that's kind of like the main point of the video. I went with the beaver rope saddle because if you look at the stats, the stats are nutty. Um, for, so, with all due respect, um, so all of the trapper saddles are S class saddles. If you get an S class saddle, it's going to change your horse worldly now that's not you know it doesn't mean like uh, the arabian horse which i got and, and wasted my money on or the tennessee walker that you got for free we have the same horse that has the same speed but the only difference is though is your saddle though because saddles have they they like kind of until an update comes out they figured out the saddles so long story short once you get yourself a trapper saddle oh my god the world of difference the world of difference uh first of all it's 50 percent on the re uh, excuse me 50% on your core, like, degradation, so, like, your core is not gonna, you know, the, the actual lightning bolt for the stamina, that's gonna be 50% less, you know, it's gonna take less, uh, whatever, I don't know how, words. I don't know where. <laughs> anyway, but the more important thing is when you press your L3 button, you know, you're riding or you're, you're swimming or whatever, when you need to, like, the stamina regen, I, uh, on my core beaver, the stamina region is 24%. Um, so that's just like a lot. There's basically, it's basically a quarter of my entire, uh, meter will be refilled every time I press that L3 button. And that L3 button is refreshed every 45 seconds. So, bro, that alone, that alone just means I can traverse the world without feeding my horse, without doing anything to my horse, just pressing that L3, just being conscious of the L3 button. So, long story short, if you're going to get yourself an S-Class saddle, I would suggest the Beaver Roper saddle or, uh, for me personally, the Panther saddle. While the Panther saddle has a regeneration rate of not 24, but 26%. I mean, 2% of the difference is, is, is splitting hairs. But if you're going for ultimate stats, boom, boom, boom. Long story short, in this video, I'm showing you we have options here. We're getting trapper saddles. I got the beaver rope saddle. Uh, also, if you're spending money like this, if you're buying an Arabian, you're buying saddles, you're yeah, most likely going to get that challenge for that uh, spending a thousand in store. So that's just a good look on its own self that doesn't need its own video. Anyway, damn, I've been talking. I feel like I've been talking for so long. Let's get back to the beginning of the video. I want to get to this penitentiary. I, like, I've had thoughts of stealing somebody's canoe and getting to the penitentiary. I've had thoughts of like, oh, I'm just going to da 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 So anyway, now I have the saddle. I have the horse. I have everything I need to actually swim over there. Can I do it? And as I'm in this progression right now, I feel like I'm absolutely going nowhere. Like, really, though. Like, really, though? Really, though? Really, though? So I open my map, and I look, and I feel like, yo, bro, this stream is taking me more downward than a crossword, if that makes any sense to you. I, I, words are tough for me. Anyway, <laughs> so what I decided to do was relocate. I'm going to start from the top. Uh, and yes, I'll show you on the map, but I'm gonna start from like all the way at the top of the penitentiary And I'm gonna use the downward stream to my advantage. So as you can see here I finally made it to my location get this out get out of the way uh, mind you I am fully fully full on my uh, gator meat my big game meat um, that was many many videos ago um, I have minty game meat I have oregano game meat and thyme game meat like I don't I don't eat salmon I don't eat canned beef and canned vegetables bro if you don't know about like that then bro please please stick with me I don't eat canned nothing I smoke cigars and I eat big game meat like a big boss <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I got to a new location. Uh, this video is almost over. I'm not trying to take all the time, but I got to a new location. We're trying to get to the penitentiary. And, bro, to be honest, this is actually within my grasp. But... As soon as I get in the area, it seems like it would just not allow me to do so. 
my horse completely and immediately died as soon as I got with over a threshold. So I'm assuming that this penitentiary area will be future DLC. That's all my words to, to say that. All the words that make that point. My name is Bleef I hope you like this video. <laughs> hope you watch this video. Get yourself a fever rope saddle or a panther saddle. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be talking about uh, the volatile dynamite where like I got volatile dynamite for free. I didn't have to buy the panther. So that's a big look. And fire bottles. My name is Bleef. Bye. <laughs> no, like peace for a little peace.